And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. It's Meme Tier Monday. We are finished with our seasonal tournament. We're going to get back to our regularly scheduled program with playing four different decks every day. And today is where we play the most fun of decks. It's Meme Tier Monday. We got um, all donation decks to get to. Our first one here is going to be a Yasuo deck with a bunch of Invoke. And what our deck is built around is going to be playing invoke cards such like lunari priestess solari priestess those are going to be two big ones also like moon dreamer with the invoke but playing those and then recalling them to be able to play them some more we have three recalls in here so for one mana we can put put it back into our hand so we can recast those and, and get more invoke cards um, we have Consp navori conspirator for two mana to be able to recall and we also have shadow shift recalling and then putting a living shadow in its place. Shadow Shift here is really good at blocking, right? Like they attack with something, we block with our Lunari Priestess, but uh, we don't want our Lunari Priestess to die, and so we Shadow Shift it, put it back into our hand, put the 3-2, and have the 3-2 the Ephemeral block instead of having the 2-1 or the 1-2. You know, those things aren't very good blockers, but a 3-2 is a better blocker, so that works out there. And of course, all of that recall helps level up Yasuo, because we need to uh, stun or recall five plus units to get the leveled up Yasuo. Um, and then the other thing is like all this invoke gives us other things to do when we don't have Yasuo, right? Whenever you play Yasuo decks, you um, you always kind of wonder how do we win the games whenever we don't actually draw Yasuo or if they kill our Yasuo right away. Like how are we winning games? And we're going to win games with the invoke cards. We have one go get it also with that recall. Um, so then, th then our top end we have a couple of Yone's and an Infinite Mind Splitter. Both of those work great with Yasuo. And then we have two Aurelian Souls that, of course, can win games. Because we're just trying to play a long game, slow them down, um, you know, have all this Invoke stuff. And then, uh, boom, Aurelian Soul at the top end, getting many more Invoke cards. And if it levels up, it is crazy. So that's, that's our deck. It's going to be a, a nice, slow deck trying to win with Yasuo and Invoke. All right, let's see how it does. So we're just playing it in normal today. That's what we do on Meme Tier Monday. We just play our, we will play five games with each deck. Okay, so this is going to be our first game now. Against Gangplank Sejuani. And Concussive Palm is going to be another really good card to bounce. Bounce our Concussive, you know, bounce our Concussive Palms, keep replaying them. Let's mulligan these two. I kind of want to mulligan the other Priestess also. I, I mean, I like Lunari Priestess, but it could be difficult to play without... You know, like, we can't really play Lunari Priestess on turn three. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. And we need to find things that we can play on turn three. I'll shoot the wings off a In range. All right, they're shooting the wings off of Bilgewater. Think it fast, cute. Ready? And looks like we're playing Concussive Palm. Want to see these moves up close? Don't need to though. He's talking without me. There's plenty of killing left. We can wait till after we have Yasuo in play. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. This doesn't look so great. Oh, it's on. No more running. It's still me taking. Uh, that's still me taking one damage. I could, I could deny that to not take the damage to, you know, turn on plunder and everything. I want to see if they'd use a pump spell against my Yasuo, and then I'd have Steel Tempest. Don't mind the knife. Hmm. 
Hmm. Time for a leap of faith. So that's two. I know a way. Some things never dull. Our concussive palm was so small. Nothing left when I'm done. Oh, I think it says shoot the wings off of a the wings of a bilge wisp. Maybe. I mean maybe it's not. I, I've always heard bilge water. I I guess I've never considered I guess I don't know what a bilge wisp would be. Well, I was thinking about playing the concussive palm and just like killing the crack shot corsair. But now at this point. I guess, I don't know if I should be, I guess I was scared of Powder Keg Make It Rain. Well, maybe I don't need to be scared of Powder Keg Make It Rain. Oh, right, can't block that. Bilge Wasp. Okay. Shoot the wings off a of Bilge Wasp. So they're going to Shadow Shift the Yordle Grifter. So basically, they just get a Yordle Grifter back in hand. So I could counter that, and then they don't get a Yordle Grifter. I guess I'd do that. I don't really know exactly what else. Deny's probably not doing a ton in this matchup besides, like, make it rain. Boys. I just don't really want to use the Yasuo Steel Tempest because I feel like they're going to kill my Yasuo. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Close your eyes and drift away. Oh, Smooth Soloist is awesome. So they're at four out of five over there. They don't get the powder keg. It's good. So I'm only at 11. The gangplanks leveled up whenever they play warning shot. Uh, it's gonna make the Sedgewani leveled up too. Hmm. Now who's got the upper hand? So this will do five damage. The first one does two damage. The second one does five damage. If I if I cast uh, Steel Tempest, Steel Tempest. You call that sneaky? All of my stuff's gonna be frostbitten, of course. I see every move. Let's try this. Oh, I meant to do that the other way around. I guess I messed that up. I meant to do two damage to Gangplank and five damage to Sejuani. I did that the wrong way. Oh, that's my favorite 
too. It's not a rope, it's a snake. Okay. Ooh, Hasha's pretty good. Brother, what have you become? If I told you, would you listen? You die slow. Alright, so we're down to six. But those are both dead. Are they not dead? Oh, they're not dead because my Yasuo... Oh, right, because Yasuo goes to zero power, so it doesn't strike. Oh, I should have hushed the Sejuani first. I could have. I could have hushed Sejuani first and then played Yone. Oh, that's my bad. That's that's my bad. I've got us covered. That's my bad. That overwhelm. Wanna see these moves up close? We still going to negative two? Oh, the powder keg. But still, it's one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Well. All right. Yeah, I need I need to hush that Sejuani first. Keep moving All right, lesson learned. Sorry, Rad. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Rad. Sorry about that game. I need to hush Sejuani first and then and then play Yone. And then we were... You know, I don't know. We were maybe fine. Um, yeah, little corner case situation there. Let's see. Soraka, Tom Kench. I think I'm going to keep all this. Just, when do we ever play this Priestess? I'm not sure. I want Invoke cards, though. But I'm not sure how I'm gonna. I'm not sure how I'm gonna actually activate Nightfall on this Priestess early. I guess we don't need to keep Infinite Mind Splitter. Yeah, yeah, that was a miss. Yep, definitely misplay. Yeah, the deck was doing fine that last game. We we were doing good. Um. That's kind of the thing about like just playing, you know, playing everything and and you know just kind of going back and playing you know playing kind of new decks to you is sometimes you miss something like that. Like I, I won't miss that Yasuo thing again, but I missed it you know missed it the first time. You know, definitely a good learning experience of all right, not gonna miss that again, if that same situation ever comes up again. But that that's the thing of that's the good part about playing a deck a lot is that you you see a lot of those weird situations come up and then you learn from them Bask in her radiant blessing yeah so gonna take the comet for Tom Kench comet can also get rid of the star spring if we need that I've been propagating quite the appetite <laughs> I see face in your future it's kind of difficult of which one to actually Get rid of. Remember my words. It's not an easy call. Wanna see these moves up close? Now who's got the upper hand? We'll have to kind of see. I, I mean, I need to get rid of Tom Kench, but also the Star Spring can, you know, can just win the game. Where there's a will, there's a meal. So it's not not easy. They could have Bash Bash if they have Bastion. Bastion protects Tom Kench, where Bastion doesn't protect Star Spring. I think I'll go after Tom Kench. Cool, no Bastion. That's good. 
<clears throat> That's definitely good. Who's ready Whoa. For show? Jack the winner. That card's awesome with Star Spring. You wanted wrath. <laughs> Yep, you figured out too. Every step, a new journey. Seems you wandered a little too far, kid. Kid. Don't really have things to do. I don't change fate, but I can see it. We have all of our top end. Live with purpose. Yeah, we have. <laughs> We have five total top end cards. <clears throat> two Yone's, one Mind Splitter, two Aurelian Souls. So five total in the deck. And we've, we've drawn four of the five in our first ten cards. Fighting's a bloody business. The possibilities are infinite. Lock the doors. Hmm. Basically doing that so I can get this. Calm mind and open heart greet the night. Need to find something to, get, to deal with the Star Spring, probably. This keeps them from drawing a card at the very least. See, like the hush. Yeah, you know, they won't. They won't draw one card. You know, otherwise, they would. You know, they were going to draw a card. So, it it does that, I guess. It could have been better to play like before attacks. If if we'd have the option, like before they attack with the Soraka, they would heal. But of course, at this point, if, if we have that option before attacks, we have like these Yones and stuff. Cool. I don't really. I don't think I really need to keep deny available. Okay, so two out of five. No use of trying. Oh, really and soul wouldn't have been the worst thing to draw. Honestly, we even if we draw a really and soul, we'd be able to play a really and soul earlier. Uh, turn nine, and you know maybe find it invoke, you know find a real powerful invoke card, like the thing that exiles all their units with power three or less. I didn't realize they still, you know, yeah, I, w I should have just passed. That's what I should have done. They're just playing all this stuff anyway. Yeah, like, they passed to me with all that stuff in hand. I should have passed back. It's surprising that they were willing to end their turn when they had four things to play like that. I should have let them end the turn. Five things to play. Fighting's a bloody business. So I'm gonna stun Soraka and Only I can quell the wind. Stun that thing. Yeah, honestly, yeah, it's a good good call. Honestly, we probably would have rather had a really in soul. I have to play Mind Splitter right now because I have to keep them from attacking with the Soraka. And I guess I am at 10. I should probably keep this Lounging Lizard. You know, they can keep saving up the gems and healing. Should probably keep that from killing me. So they don't get to draw a card. Cool. Okay, Yasuo is leveled up. So 
surprised they passed turn again. They kind of did that same thing they did last time. I'm surprised they passed turn. Supernova. Let's go. Obliterate, obliterate. All right, we got 32 power. So as long as Mind Splitter and Aurelian Soul stay alive. With purpose. Look at this, boys. Cool real estate. This is mine, fish bait. Stake it claim elsewhere. Wise Fry. That thing's at 16. 17. 18, 19, 20, 21. All they had to do was heal one extra thing. Now they have to heal two extra things. Okay, block here, I go to two. And still have 26. So let's see, I guess. Yeah, because I can't, I can't lose Mind Splitter if my early soul doesn't level up. I guess if they have Pell Cascade, I die. If I block here. Um, is that a risk willing to take? Probably not. That's probably not a risk willing that I should be willing to take. And I guess I shouldn't be going down to two anyway because they are asleep with the fish's deck. Ah, they have that. So that that just kills me now. <clears throat> well, this certainly isn't my fault. Both very close games. Both very, very close. Deck's been performing just fine. Moon Dreamer's expensive. But this looks like a this looks like a really difficult matchup with the fearsomes. Um. Yeah, this looks like a pretty tough matchup. Hopefully, they have a slow hand. Think you're fast, cute. Okay. Good draw. Oh, right, this, this is Freljord. This isn't Fearsome, this is They Who Endure. Oh, I should have kept a Will of Ionia. This is They Who Endure. Will of Ionia, very good against They Who Endure. But of course, we also have to stay alive first, and that's not the easiest thing. Okay, got Will of Ionia again. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. Ow. Most at natural. I got you. Alright, turn Blade Twirler into a 3-3. Three, three. I don't really want to just attack now then block with Warden's Prey. Oh, Yuck. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Okay, we'll bounce the Callista. It's a good hand for them. I, 
Their deck's a little too fast for ours. Who's got the upper hand? Too hard for us to stop. Turn two, Curse Keeper plus Ravenous Butcher. Turn three, Callista. And then Blighty Caretaker. Those cards are all awesome. Alright, so we'll have Golden Sister this turn. The light of my star warms the heavens. <laughs> yeah, Shadow Isles can can really high roll some awesome cards. I mean, I mean Seems like all their cards in their deck are pretty great though. Yeah, I guess turn four. I, probably, I guess I could have should have played Yasuo on turn four. I suppose. Um, Insolence. I bow to no one. So me going to three. So me going to four. Never mind. Whatever. Okay, this this is probably a better matchup for us where you know like they're going slower and bigger. So that'll give us our time to set up with our stun cards and everything. Hopefully. Okay, double blade twirler, concussive palm, not bad. Whoa, a brand new sub. I gypsy. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Thank you, I gypsy. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Brand new Twitch Prime sub. Awesome. Alright, two out of five. Think you're fast? Cute. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for that support. <laughs> the Stony Suppressor Mobilize deck. Oh well thanks thanks very much. No greater gift than knowledge. I don't, we're not going to need to concuss a palm yet. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Maybe we should just grab the three four invoke. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. So I'm seeing this plus uh, priestess. What would you wish to learn? Man, they're gonna, they're making their whatever's in hand is gonna be pretty awesome. And I could fall and comment it, or get this cosmic inspiration. Cosmic inspiration seems like it'd be pretty good. Nah, no, it's just like a little bit. Of Uh, I don't I don't know if I get any anonymous subs. I don't know, but some sometimes I'll get subs like overnight, like YouTube viewers that will just, you know, like sub to the channel while I'm not streaming. That'll happen every once in a while. Alright, so now we start stunning. I dare you. Cool, cool. You should have stayed away. You cannot escape your past. <laughs> two mana five four Z, two mana five seven Shen. Both pretty awesome. Cosmic Inspiration. For king and country. Here's our chance. 
All right, let's put our Concussive Palm back in our hand. Walk softly, strike quick. So I can attack with these seven power quick attacks. Try to keep up. So are they, you know, are they going to use barrier or whatever? Eh, I guess, I guess we can attack. See if they use a barrier. I mean, I wouldn't mind having an additional slot anyway. Oh, I got you, Kordak. Yeah, because of that. I guess... Ooh, that is scary. These things are big. I can cut Concussive Palm on this thing. So these Concussive Palms are just going to lose the three twos. Well, I guess technically five fours. Because we have too many things. Their stuff is... All their things are so big, but compared to Faye, Faye Blade Twirler... Faye Blade Twirler is just ridiculous. Time for a leap of faith. Might as well make them bigger. So they're not quite lethal, each one. My life for the order. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right. Yeah, our deck needs a little bit of time, but it can get pretty crazy. I stand ready. Man, how bad would judgment be? Judgment Judgment would be rough. The king could go where they are needed. It's too late for you. Okay. Um So I can bash it and save this blade twirler. But I also kind of want to let it die so that I have more room to play. So I have more room to play stuff. I'll let it die. A Demacian soldier is worth ten foes. It's done. Hush, evening approaches. Oh, I forgot that one got recalled. Alright, we can replace that one. Um, Equinox, a follower. Doesn't really look like we need to do that. Calm mind and open heart. Greet the night. We can chump block with this 2 1. Lead our charge. Demacia, now and forever. All right, cool. Got the Zed out of here. Follow my lead. Break their ranks. Night falls. I know your true heart. All right, you block over there. Way. You block over there. You, you block over here. Not right. really sure why that's attacking. And I take six, or I block. Want to see no, these moves up close? We can have things die. No big deal. We have like infinite cards and they're all very big. Let's play a Moon Dreamer. Moon Dreamer is cool. What's that one? And that one. Yep, Moon Dreamer makes them concede. That card's too good. And Hecarim Zed, so some Ephemerals. Ephemerals are really good to stun. Also not bad to recall, but recall's expensive. Hush. 
Um, yeah, Rad, you, you consider us 3-3. So yeah, we've... Uh, this is our fifth game that we're putting up on YouTube, but we have we have played two games where we've you know, played a little bit of the game and the opponents have just conceded in the first few turns. And never really know exactly why, but when you're in normal, that just happens. People will concede sometimes. Alright, I want to take either one of the first two, Fallen Comet or Meteor Shower. I do kind of feel like Meteor Shower could be decent. They would already have a, a one health thing here. Um, but they, they're playing Hecarim. I guess I'll take the Fallen Comet for the Hecarim, but... I think Meteor Shower, this could be a decent Meteor Shower matchup. Oh man, yeah, I'd, I'd rather have Meteor Shower for these two cards. Sleeps for the guild. The guiltless. I will not be online. Some things never dull. Yeah, they could have Mark of the Isles. Like they could Mark of the Isles, the, the Soul Shepherd. Um, but of course, I have the Hush to help protect against that. But um, yeah, I can't really stop that. So if I if I hush the shark chariot, it just doesn't die. It just goes to the next turn. And then the next turn, yeah, it'll still just be in play and ready to attack. I can hush a different ephemeral. If the, it's possible to play Hecarim this turn too. Yep. So I was say it's possible to play Hecarim. And then we fall in combat Hecarim. All right, so that worked out. Deciding, do I play Blade Twirler now, or do I wait till next turn? Maybe go Blade Twirler plus Priestess. <laughs> you hope they forget about uh, Obliterate and play Rekindler on seven. Blade never gets any lighter. I see you there. So Green Glade Lookout will not strike because of the quick attack. Does not get any bonus. Lovely day for a battle. Big blade for a little warrior. Underestimate me. I dare you. Cosmic oh, rays. Heart, greet the night. I don't behold anything else right now, but we can change that pretty quickly with recall. But that cosmic rays looks pretty awesome. We're gonna just play Moon Dreamer. Um, this is a permanent buff. Yeah, grant me. What do you see from your lofty perch? The vault of heaven, drawn in twinkling lights. <laughs> All right, so this thing won't be ephemeral now, so it won't bring the shark back. Uh, Defiance is our way. Underestimate. I dare you. Be ephemeral on this turn. But of course that means it'll it'll die at the end of this turn. Awesome, glad to hear. You're already climbing to gold three. Or already climbed to gold. Very good. After three days. That's awesome. Good job, Cataclysm. Okay, yep, I did walk into Deathmark. But that's alright. 
I'm confident in our ability to win this game still. With all this stuff. I am the blade in the darkness. Let's see, so Mind Splitter will give me three mana left. probably a waste but yeah it's probably a waste i didn't want i didn't want zed bringing back shark that's what i was thinking i don't don't want zed to bring back shark Okay, I may, may have messed this up with that, with that play. Bring night bloom. I'll tell a story. All right, we'll silence the Neverglade Collector. We should still be fine though. So we're, they attack out, we're down to 11. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll do that later. I'm not gonna, yeah, I can't Equinox right now, this right now. It's down to 11 before blocks. Believe or burn. As foretold. Oh, it's on. Come on, chase. Let's make it six. Alright, just two cards. My, my plan is Equinox, the Neverglade, and Mind Splitter. These two. That's my plan for this turn. So they've played two Neverglade Collectors and one Phantom Prankster so far. Yeah, I played, in, played into that death mark. Still like our chances, especially if I get to untap. And if, like, basically they have to have, like, Ephemeral and Deathmark here, right? Or, like, a Vengeance. Yeah, so, something like that. Like, so. That's bad. That's Ephemeral. Okay, good. Not a Deathmark. That was scary. Alright, now I can kind of help keep Bastion to protect this Mind Splitter. And I feel pretty good now. Don't need to play Aurelian Soul and risk the Mind Splitter dying, but I don't know, we'll see what they do. Maybe we can. We know that we know this one card's not Deathmark, right? Because if it was Deathmark, they would have definitely played it. So we know this one's not Deathmark. Does death follow me or peace? Okay. So I'm not too scared of anything they can have. So I guess I, I guess I can just go ahead and play Aurelian Soul then. <laughs> I assume that that thing is like an ephemeral unit because they played that other shark on my turn. So I assume that card was another ephemeral. Otherwise, they would just wait a turn and play the shark on their turn. Okay. Whatever it is, they don't want to play it. Now, who's got the other hand? Now they'll pay attention. Man, we, now we're making the serpent cost zero. It's not a rope, it's a snake. That's pretty crazy. The shadow approaches. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. There we go. Not the best invokes. Sunlight blinds while moonlight reveals. That's alright. 
want to get another Behold card in my hand first before playing this Cosmic Inspiration with the Serpent being the only other one. I don't want them to kill my Serpent. Yeah, so now we Behold the Warrior. That's what I was saying. That I, that's why I wanted to play the Priestess and stuff before I played that. At the time when I was saying that, I didn't Behold the Warrior yet. As have I. All right, two and three. So there we go. Yasuo invoke two and three, and could have maybe been a three two. Uh, you know, ran into that problem with that hush earlier. Um, but yeah, the the fearsome deck is going to run you over real fast, or you know, just your shadow isle stuff like the shadow isles can high roll and run you over, but. I did like how we had all the invoke cards in the late game, and we just had you know good invoke stuff in the late game. But then we were also a Yasuo deck. You know, we had like the game that we won where we just had all the blade twirlers and did some stunning and made some really big blade twirlers. Um, so that's pretty cool too. Um, so I think this deck worked out pretty well. It's just it's going to be slow, and our first our first few turns, you know, basically we have blade twirler is the only card we can play on. You know, we have nothing to play on turn one. Blade twirler is the only thing on turn two. And then turn three, Illinari Priestess isn't very good on turn three either. So you're looking at basically only Solari Priestess for that. But then I guess you have Concussive Palm as well. But if we can, if we can, it can uh, slow the opponent down a little bit. Maybe take a little bit of damage. Hopefully, hopefully they don't go too wide. Right? Like that's that's the problem with the Shadow Isles deck is they go wide real fast. If our opponents don't go real wide, they go bigger. Like you know with the Demacia deck, um, you know go bigger like that. Have some bigger threats, then we can stun those, recall those, and things, and we can uh, get the ball rolling with all of that. Get our Yasuo in play. Um, so, any suggestions for the deck? We could probably use another thing. You know, we probably need something else to play early, whether it's removal or. Um, or a blocker. Probably need something else to play early. Maybe a Tasty Fae Folk? With that lifesteal? Like, our, our Conspirator could do a couple of cool things, but honestly, we probably don't need Navori Conspirator with how those those games kind of played out. Didn't seem like we really needed it. May, yeah, maybe Tasty Fae Folk. Yeah, because it, it does need a little bit more defense. So retreat return, yeah, we we're playing recall instead of retreat return because retreat return doesn't really work in this deck. Um, return, basically, let's see, where's retreat? There, because return, you know, you you summon an ally that costs three or less from hand for the one mana, but that doesn't work with these these cards. With Solari Priestess is a daybreak, so that means you have to play it. Lunari Priestess is nightfall, you have to play it. So the the um, return just doesn't work with those cards, and so instead of spending two mana to retreat, we can spend one mana to retreat with the recall. And I was happy with the recall. Um, now shadow, you know, shadow shift. We want to play this because this is recall that costs one more mana, but it gives you the three two. So it's really good at blocking. So basically, you block something with your uh, with one of your priestesses. And then you go the Shadow Shift, and you put a 3-2 into play to actually block it, but then you put your Priestess back into your hand. But yeah, so you, you don't really you don't really want to... So like that that's why you want Shadow Shift. You want, you want this body for blocking purposes to take things out. Go, I mean, go get it's fine because the, you know, the Ephemeral copy costs zero, so that works pretty well with like Moon Dreamer. You know, it costs zero to replay it, and then your Yone, your Infinite Mind Splitter... Um, you know, you can reset those things, replay them for zero mana. I us have, you know, we never, I never cast the go get it, I don't think. I think maybe I, I was kind of planning on one game. But I think it works. Because you still, it's still, go get it's again good at blocking, right? Because you get the ephemeral copy comes in, like you block first and then you go get it. So the, because our deck's all about blocking. So the ephemeral copy still stays in combat and does damage to whatever you're blocking. And then you get to replay your other thing for zero mana. 
So again, again, the, so both the Go Get It and the Shadow Shift are about blocking. So maybe a couple of Tasty Fate Folk instead of instead of the Navori Conspirators. Or you could go, you know, if, if you want something before turn three, since, you know, like a lot of this, this stuff is three mana, um, I guess you could play Green Glade Lookout in this deck. Just try to reduce the cost of some, you know, like we have all these like expensive cards to just be a, a two mana blocker and then reduce cost. You know, just tr trade with, you trade with another one or two drop. It's not the, that's not the worst thing ever. So that I could see, I could see that also, and that kind of helps the curve out a little bit better, because we, we have enough, we probably have enough recall anyway. So I know those are things to think about. You have like Mountain Goat, which is a, a good, a really good two drop to block with and everything. But the problem is, is you don't actually want gems in hand because this deck has too many cards in hand. You could play like a Solari Shield Bear. Yeah, like Solari Shield Bear is also a good blocker. Um, so you know, like if. You know, like this doesn't the Green Glade Lookout doesn't block Fearsome, so it doesn't it doesn't help your Fearsome matchup. So if you want something that blocks Fearsome, you know, you, you could go with the Shield Bear. That'd be another option as well. Um Yeah, the hand the hand's too full. Yeah, it's too full for gems. You'd want to play Shield Bear, not Mountain Goat. Because you don't want those gems. Um, another option that's also not bad. Actually, that's actually maybe the best option is actually the Spacey Sketcher. Actually, I think I like that more, Spacey Sketcher, because you do you do have a hand. You like you can play Spacey Sketcher on turn one, and even though you're not, so okay, so this deck doesn't generate any cards like gems or anything that it's specifically okay. This is a great card to discard a Spacey Sketcher, but there's so much card advantage in this deck, and it can play a late game so well that you can discard any of these things and you'll be just fine, and you can get a cheap invoke card that can be really powerful, especially like the zero mana challenger and things like that. Um, so I actually think that Spacey Sketcher would work here as like something that could be a blocker immediately on turn one, something that you can just get out of your hand. Um, also another good card to recall, right? Like, you know, this is, you know, when you're thinking about like your shadow shifts and recalls and things like that, that's a good card. But you can basically turn some expensive card, you know, maybe you're not going to be able to play a Will of Ionia, or you have, you know, you already have two Yone's, a Mind Splitter, and a Rillian Soul in your hands. So you just discard one of those four kind of thing. You know, sometimes you just have to discard. You know, you don't, you know, you, it's going to be too aggressive for your Go Get It or your Moon Dreamer or your Will of Ionia. You know, you just discard any of these five plus mana cards. And it's not really that that big a deal because even you may be like, oh man, we discard our Infinite Mind Splitter. We're never going to get Infinite Mind Splitter back. Well, we're going to also just invoke a whole bunch of great top end cards anyway. So it doesn't, you can, you can refine top end cards with this deck with all of the invoke stuff. So you don't have to worry about that. And so your Sketcher can kind of do whatever. It, it can kind of just take, take whatever is in your hand that you're not going to be able to play. Get rid of that. Get a really good invoke card that you will be able to play. So I think that that actually works. I think a couple of spacey sketchers could be pretty cool in here. And that also gives you just like that little 1-1 blocker. But I, I, I like I kind of like the rest of the cards though. I like what what you got going on. And just understand, it's it's not going to be great against aggro. Even the spacey sketcher will help a little bit, but it's still not going to be great against aggro, and that's okay. No, I don't think you'd want retreat recall. No, it's same same thing or retreat retreat return. I don't think you want retreat return. Same thing. Like this doesn't this doesn't help against retreat return. You know, this is again, this is a play. It's not a summon. I, I think recall just fits this deck better than retreat. Recall just being one mana it just works better. I, think, I I like the recall. I like one mana. Yeah, you could return the generated card. I mean, a lot of times you're gonna grab like the zero mana two one challenger, right? Like that's like one of the best things you can grab anyway. So that that doesn't matter. Um. Yeah, so you have four options. You have that. You have the the one mana four one overwhelm. That's also a really good one. That one's good. So the only two things that return would even help would be the the two mana um, two two thing that draws a card, and of course the the three mana three three elusive. Those two things. It's just not worth it. No. Yeah. So if you if you block and then recall after they block then their unit is blocked and they do not damage your nexus no so the recall works works that like that you know you put your spacey sketcher in front of a five five and then you recall your spacey sketcher and their five five just does zero damage 
that changes if that unit has overwhelm overwhelm will still continue and strike the nexus but non-overwhelm will not will not strike all right those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course leave those comments as well i'd appreciate that but thank you so much for watching some yasuo invoke and i'll see you for the next video